Hi guys, so on today's episode, I'm gonna be getting a sewing on myself by myself. Uh, I'm just getting a middle part, like traditional sewing with a leave out, minimal leave out. I already relaxed my hair about like a month ago, about a month or two months ago now, but it's not washed. I'm gonna get in the shower, get a quick wash, blow dry, and then start the sewing or braid the hair first and then start the sewing process. So for this, I'm gonna be using this hair I got on AliExpress. Um, it's double drawn. I've been looking for double drawn hair just because I got sick of, you know, having the weave to where it's like really tapered and thin on the end. So I just like searched like double drawn hair and I got this, like it's really thick and full, you know, all the way to the end and stuff. And this is in 14 inches. So I got three um, bundles that I'll be using. Hopefully it will give me like a full look, but not too full. I don't like my like hair being really bulky on my head just simply because I work out and then when I have to wash it and stuff, it takes like way longer to dry. So yep, yeah, I'm gonna get right into it, go um, wash my hair right now and then get to the process. Just jumped right into it here. I've already taken a shower, I've washed the hair, I've blow dried it, and already started putting it in braids. So the braiding pattern that I normally use is just like cornrows going all the way to the back. I usually have a line, the first braid like going across the back of my head. I'll show that in a second. But here, yeah, I'm getting the middle part, so I'm just putting the cornrows in now. And here is the breathing pattern I was talking about. So I just have that line going across in the back just in case I want to put up the hair like in a ponytail or something. Then I can just use a headband to like cover the back. Whew. So yep, I kind of went straight into starting the sewing and I already put about the first two two lines on the bottom. If you can no if you notice here, I'm using a straight needle. Most people ask why I use that as opposed to the curved needle that looks like a C, but I've tried using that before and I find that very difficult for me to like manipulate on my own. So I found this strip needle like, you know, quite easier for me to use. Right here, I'm just speeding through the process. There's really no point trying to like slow it down and just, you know, make it unnecessarily long. But if anybody like wants a detailed video of how I do it, I guess I can get a closer view to it. But yeah, this is just basically how I go through it. Right here, I've already started using the second bundle right here and i don't use a mirror i just kind of use my fingers to like feel through it and yeah i just kind of go like line after line basically and it's, i never knew how to do my own hair by myself until i go to the u.s when i found out the ridiculous amount that i had to pay to get a sewing i was like uh-uh i'm gonna have to start doing this on my own look here i was already tired i was regretting i wanted to stop but you know we move but yeah basically this is just me. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm about to finish the second bundle. Okay, right here, I've already put in the third bundle and I'm just trying to like put in, uh, I guess, close the sewing right there and just snip off the thread. But yeah, that is basically the end of the sewing. I was tired. Uh, yeah, just gonna take out the leave out, go straight knee, and be back. So this is the finished look. I'm liking how it's looking. I straightened it and kind of curled the tips a little bit, but you can see like I like this fuller ends and yeah, I'm just loving the hair. It has no shedding at all, so I'm very happy about that. It has no shedding. So here I am, ready to go catch a drink or two, probably watch a movie, and I'm really feeling myself. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I really like the way this turned out, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna head out now. Thank you guys for watching, and yep, see you in the next video. Bye, guys.